What's up guys? Today we are back 10 tonight. Be to be root. Another review video and this one is special to me because I saw the tweets. He was already annoyed. He was popping his shit with the men on the internet. So I had to send it to him like we're gonna react to this today. He said allegedly this video will get kicked off because he's gonna be mean, but we'll see in the comments. This is Usher's new video and song Boyfriend. And Kiki Palmer is in the music video. If you don't understand why that's hilarious, we'll talk about it. But let's play it first. So far, he's given the girls are in the hotel room getting ready to go out. I'm assuming based on the storyline to the Usher concert. <laughs> you going? You going out bad over a nigga that was throwing fake money? <laughs> Usher bucks. <laughs> get a get a grip. All right, what's <laughs> Give me you don't have to call. If y'all seen the you don't have to call video, that's what this is taking me back to. Usher, you don't have to call. Now Usher has popped up in the music video. Chains on, shirt off. I don't know about that. is like dancey it's given white restaurant this shit mid no hate no hate usher is old no though usher is like 40 something he's performing at a residency in vegas this fits that vibe like the older people the bruno mars people they like this bruno mars is tough though hey that's your boyfriend's looking for me Ooh, that's cool that's cool Oh yeah, that was a spicy line. And we wasn't paying attention to that. Tell Your boyfriend boy. is looking for me. I'm oh easy to find. God. He's wherever <laughs> that he sees you. That's I don't even want to fight this nigga because <laughs> that nigga blood is contaminated. I can't even fight, bro. Don't so I got to Oh my God. That wherever, is crazy. If your man is looking for me, just let him know. Wherever you at, that's where I'm at. That's funny. Usher, uh, uh, sure. don't play with him. I'm not surprised though. We see so many yes, women. You, you you know, we, oh, okay. So many women. Um, yeah, so many niggas ruin a, a happy home. They do. I ain't surprised. This is, you know, I, it's even. I guess you know. I just never seen a woman do it. Like, so a woman like just like blatantly like fuck it. I've never seen that. And I feel like if some shit was going on behind the scenes, we would have been knew about it. Cause why? How we we barely knew about him. I feel like she would have said something though. If a nigga fuck up, a woman always gonna let the internet no, know the world no. know. Kiki said he asked, and to me he was messy. And, and what happens if you ever had a summer walker situation with me? Some girl was just like, yo. Uh oh. Just, just, just so you know. She was wearing like <laughs> my Eagles jersey. She's not even getting on the line with me. She not, I'm not talking to nobody. I don't care. She could be standing next to you in a picture. My name, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm Stevie Wonder to the bullshit. Whatever that we going through is we talking about that in the closet. Like we uh -huh. ain't nobody. Like it's on some like he's got a twin brother. Uh -huh. <laughs> like I'm not discussing but then, that. How, but then how are you going to react when people bring it to you? I saw your man, or I saw that. You know, people. Are and I saw your man. 
I didn't want to bring it up, but since we're bringing it up, have you checked with him? <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll laugh and then we'll move on because they know I'm not playing at that point. Exactly. Right. <laughs> you don't have to discuss your man or your So money. first of all, I love that the girls are in the elevator and you remind me as well. I think that's so cute. This man was on Kiki Palmer's uh, podcast a couple of weeks, maybe days before the Usher shit happened. And he was like, oh, yeah, you saw with Summer Walker in DM the girl, whatever, with Lil Meech. Like, what would you do in that situation? And Kiki was like, nothing. I'm not saying nothing. Like, no, I'm not bringing no drama to the Internet ever. I'm going to talk to you about it. We're going to talk about it at home. Okay. But I'm never bringing no shit to the Internet. That's not me. And she's an Internet personality. So that makes sense. Why would I bring my mess and my drama to the Internet when that's I be making jokes and shit for a living? Okay. Nigga, no. And it seemed thirsty when he was asking the question like he was trying to poke. Like he wanted a little bit of clout off something. Like he liked a little bit of drama to make sure he's loved. And a lot of niggas are like that, especially when the girl is above them, you know, in any type of way. If she's above them in popularity, if she's above them in money, if she's above them in anything, they feel like they need to get her down, get her a little. And that's what you're trying to do. And you failed. And then the usher shit happened and just compounded probably how you was already feeling, like a lame. Damn, bro. You going out bad. Like, you're a loser. So here Kiki is lapping it up because just like Aoki Lee Simmons said, maybe we can put it in. I just want to say, I don't know Kiki Palmer's boyfriend. I don't know. Any also, like, what did he think that we were going to say? Like, agree and then we're going to what? Yell at your girlfriend and the mother of your child? Like, what did he think I was going to say? Like, yes, we're going to help. We're going to gang up on her with you. We don't know you. Also, What? It just, it was unhinged the way the tweet, I just, what did he think that we were going to do? Agree? Also, I thought the dress was amazing and so cute and elegant and like very, not that I even believe in there's a way that mom should dress, but I thought it was very like mom, new mom, sexy, night out. I thought it was very nice, but whatever. Did he think that we were going to agree with him against Kiki Palmer? It was never going to work. We don't know you, bro. So you came out and tried to shame Kiki. You tried to publicly embarrass her. What the fuck did you expect us to say? Oh, yeah, I'll you're shame, right. Yeah, you want that. us to bully? Nigga, shut up. You should have texted us to your homeboys. I would have been in the group chat going nuts. You should have known we were going to. This hoe got me fucked up. Yeah, you, you had Dancing your, on this nigga. You had yourself fucked up if you thought your girlfriend was. Famous girlfriend was going to the Usher concert. and He'd been dancing with bitches the whole show. And she, he wasn't going to dance with her. They poking, man. They poking. The with math us. ain't math and bruh. When we first heard this, oh my gosh. Damn. You need to sit down, this may take a while. And now Kiki and Ayo are actually, this is going to go down and hit the Usher just popped up. Usher done popped up in the elevator, now she's seeing him everywhere. And the baby scene. Y'all well forgot Kiki could dance, and she probably been practicing these usher moves her whole life. Now your fucking girlfriend is doing the I usher cried. dance in the casino. I wouldn't cry, but it's like, damn, like you played yourself. Now look at this shit. You just a laughing stock of the world. Of the world. Well, America, because I'm sure um, nobody else. America. Gives a fuck. The next day, the New York Times put on the uh, on on their website or whatever the newspaper. Kiki Palmer's boyfriend does not know his place. <laughs> no, no, no. I gotta, I gotta look that up. No way. No, no. Google. Way. Kiki Palmer's boyfriend does not know his place. Because he, you a mom though. You wasn't saying she was a mom when she was pregnant and you was filming her in her panties and posting it on your story. But now that she's out in this mesh, heart printed dress and Usher is serenading her, how she's dressed is a problem. Sweetie, are you okay? Have you been to therapy this week? Have you talked to your mom? Oh, shit. Bring it. And now this is just rubbing the embarrassment. Put that in. nigga on suicide watch. <laughs> Cause nigga, me. Ooh. But I don't know the non-curse way to say he got bit. Humiliated, castrated, uh, emasculated. All right, all right, I get the point. I mean, I could see if it was a real nigga. If you lost your hoe to T.I., I'd be like, hey, that's T.I. But Usher, <laughs> you better check that hoe. No, I don't know. I'm different. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna wild out like that. This but. is public embarrassment, just like you tried to do to her. And she, she, she saw you, and she trumped you. 
And I wouldn't say she that. raised uh, the stakes yeah. on the public. I ain't gonna lie, he fucked up for bringing that to the internet. That that was some big shit, but. Somebody said that your boyfriend is looking for me. If that's cool, that's cool, yeah. We should know I'm pretty easy to find. Just look for me wherever he sees you. Somebody said. Is Kiki wearing a U chain from the Yeah video? Fucking twenty. Now they matching. Nigga, you gotta do some fight back, nigga. I asked fight you. Fight back. I ask you now. Was it dressed that bad? Was yeah, it dressed yeah. that bad? I still Cause now that. they matching. Damn. I would rather if I was a man or if I was, you know, a non-binary or whatever, I had a girlfriend, I would rather that bitch be dressed as sexy outside than match you with another nigga any day of the week, let me tell you. Cause dressing sexy don't really mean shit. It's twenty twenty three bitches wearing their lingerie outside to the grocery store. I'm sure the dress was just the, the icing on top. It was more the groping and touching each other and dancing. That, on each he other. wanted to say that, but he couldn't say it. How dare you be standing up there with Usher dancing like that? I would have said he that. Couldn't say it. I don't give a fuck. So he, brought, he went out the dress, and that was a weak, you know, a weak point. You fucked up. You got to come to me. I would have had your argument. Oh, it's like it's in a dream. They mind fucking this boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello. Hello. Oh, she's sleeping. Then Usher was her ringtone on her phone, and she's in bed. But there was a male arm there with a tattoo on the arm. What time is it? Damn it! I missed the show. Shit, I'm so tired. I'm a mother. <laughs> After all. Oh, I'm right here. Like this nigga said in his bitch ass tweet. Hilarious. Star Kiki Palmer. Honestly, all the time. To be a man, bro. This is funny. This is hilarious. I wonder who idea this was. Probably Usher. <laughs> I was not expecting you to call me. Now they on FaceTime. Look it. Let this be a lesson to all you men. When you think about some shit in your head based on some 1950s ass grandma grandpa standards and you about to say it out loud shut the fuck up because next thing you know your girlfriend's gonna be dancing and pop locking and shit with the nigga that you shit, was shit. that you had problems with just be quiet <sighs> you know how much shit girls gotta look at and be quiet niggas liking uh instagram bitches pictures all day all right you like that nigga picture and dance on a nigga though. retweeting porn but that's the point and a guy said mm. that maybe if i find a tweet i could put it in we're grown now all that celebrity crush oh i like this athlete this and that you niggas better be careful because your girlfriend can really pull up and fuck that nigga if she wanted to it's not the same for men you could like halle berry you could like beyonce all day you never got a shot but the men out here are sluts rich poor and in between and any of them we like if we throw ourselves the right way they're going to catch that shit every time Act accordingly, man. It's not the 60s. It's not just the You just gotta 70s. get rich. Look, brother. Balance that shit out. You just gotta get rich. Give a fuck about what happened. We let women have now. I'm gonna have later. Y'all niggas gonna age. Fuck it. When I get rich, I don't give a fuck. You gonna act how you act when I got my money. And you ain't gonna be able to do maybe, shit. Maybe. Maybe. But if she got her own money, too, it's gonna be Jay-Z and Beyonce and that bitch. Hey, man. You know, that's cool. Because I know Jay-Z. Hey, I know he was disgusted. I know he was crying and throwing up in the studio when she started playing them Lemonade songs. And it wasn't shit he could do to stop it from coming out. I know he was like, please don't put this out. Please. I understand what I did. I understand this is therapy for you making the song. I've never listened to that Do album, we got to put them out? I? Exactly. Do we got to put them out? Is this what we got to do? I know he didn't want to do that, but he couldn't do shit about it. And let, I'm just saying, let this be a lesson to you men. Just move with more caution. Move like it's 2023, not 1953. You yeah, feel for me? sure. Because women got, women got more access to anything. I just Period. learned this out. I just learned this out. A woman could run your hoes off. You can't run a woman hoes off. Never. No cap. Never. It's game over. My pregnant homegirls still have niggas in their DMs. My mind is blown. You niggas is down. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. This shit's crazy. 
Try what did Kendrick it. Lamar say on the Scissor song? How many times she got to tell y'all dick is disposable? And if she catches a young nigga like me, it's over for you. Y'all didn't hear that. Y'all really think that dick runs the world. When it's only fans bitches out here throwing pussy, they don't care. They just want a little bit of money. And then some girls, you know, we could really run it up. A guy cheating <laughs> is never going to be on the same level as a girl cheating. A girl yeah. is going to level up. You're just going to be fucking whoever's available. Niggas discarded baby mamas. Yeah. So just, you know, move with caution. Act like you got sense. Think with this head. You know, not the other one. And your life would be easier. It would be more stress free less embarrassing for you. Because now this shows me that girls are on that public embarrassment wave, too. You niggas had it for a while, posting shit on Instagram. I'm sorry I put you through so much. Oh, yeah, my wife. I've never understood that. Why would you drag her on your anniversary post? Oh, you've been with me through everything. You accept you staying with me. Yeah, like, bro, that's... <laughs> Nigga, shut up. Why you bring up the bad times? Just thank you. That's all this you got. Thank you. I love you, girl. With all my heart, you were everything to me. Yeah. Y'all niggas love to publicly embarrass. I saw a podcast where the man called in and said, I, am, I know my wife is ugly. But I love her because she takes care of me. She takes care of me. What kind of shit be going on in y'all's brains, bro? What the fuck? Stop it. Just stop it. That nigga is crazy. Before you end up like Darius. He's going to be an adjective now. Don't get Darius. That's his name? Yeah. It used to be Federline. Kevin Federline took Britney Spears' money. Took her kids. Got the fuck on. So it used to be, oh, don't get Federline out here. Don't get Darius, niggas. Because it's going to hurt. And your homies. <laughs> they're not going to be homies. They're going to be laughing at you. Not with you. Yeah, I wonder what that nigga group chat going through. Cause <laughs> I know they was cooking that boy. I All gifs. I, I no words, just gifs. For sure, because niggas ushers. is worse. <laughs> niggas is worse. I'm sending the hardest Usher song. If this happened to one of my niggas, I'm playing Usher for a week. Subliminally, on my story, I'm posting my girl to Usher. I'm just going to po post Usher rapping. If I'm sad, the store ran out of something, I'm posting a sad Usher song. There goes my I'm baby. saying, like, nigga, I'm... And I know it's going to fuck with yourself constantly. So you got to just turn your phone off. And that's why it's so bad. Because it's like what happened and who it was. Like, nigga, you can't outrun that nigga. He okay. everywhere. You lucky this didn't happen in the early 2000s. You will really be on suicide watch. Because he was everywhere. Boy, boy. Every time you got in your car, yeah, we'll be on. It's no more Bluetooth, no auxiliary. This you all radio. The, you you would have gotten the car. You would have been like, my On a gospel boo, channel. Started when we were Fucking younger. Fucking podcast. You my nigga. Podcast and shit. That nigga going through it, though. Oh, like, share, subscribe. Let us know what your favorite part of the video was in the comments. Subscribe to B2B Roots channel. Listen to his song, The One. Yeah. Not the two. And yeah. Yeah, we'll see y'all next time. Bye.